Hello and welcome to another episode of In a Nutshell Cyril's Brettspiele. My name is Niels and today we are talking about Ayar. Or is it Ayer? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a French game, so maybe the French people know exactly the pronunciation of this game. What is in the box and what can we expect from the game? So first of all, this is totally unique. You have never seen, oh maybe you have, but I have never seen a game like this before in my life. Do you remember this TV series Domino Day? It was a big thing in Europe, I don't know if here in the US as well. They built up for months uh, creations artwork out of domino pieces and then they kicked the domino pieces and all were falling down for one and a half hours so and they have different so an Oly olympic uh theme so they built up the rings but they also built up game f uh, fairs uh with uh, roller coasters and all that stuff so this domino day was a big thing in europe and this is what the game is all about dominoes so let's take a look what's inside the box and what is it so first of all there's a timer and it's a 10 minute timer i've never seen a 10 minute timer in a game before and you play the game twice so the first time you're playing 10 minutes then you flip it around after 10 minutes and you play another 10 minutes uh, I highly recommend between these two faces make a little bit of a gap to just breathe, relax, calm down, uh, refocus your strategy. This is a fully co-op game for two to four players, however you can play it alone as well. What you are doing is on your turn you have a stack of face down uh, domino pieces here, a lot of them. You take your piece, flip it over and either can place it on the board and the board is considered as a whole table. You can place it anywhere, wherever you want to place your domino tile, it's up to you, you can do it. Or you just simply put it in a storage area and take it on another turn. On a future turn you can take again one face down tile or you can take this face up tile if you want later on if it fits on the board. Again it's a co-op uh, game so everybody has to play uh, the same thing. You start out with this uh, source uh, with this water source here and you start out placing these tiles. You start out by building waste, water waste out of your little domino tiles like this and you place them on the table. So um, you can build whatever way you want. However, there are, and maybe you mentioned that before in this area here, there are normal tiles, like this one here is an ice sheet, but there are also tiles with a camera symbol on it. Whenever you use a camera symbol, you can either take one of these according tiles to the matching terrain, flip it over and there's a river on it, and you build just a pass and go over these rivers. You get also these photo to to tokens, put it adjacent, a little bit touching on it, and then you start building again your pattern like this here. So you have to go around the corner with all of them and that's what you want to do. Keep in mind you all do that together so everybody is taking one piece at a time, the next player is taking a piece and so on and so forth. What you can also do with this photo tiles like this right now is here you can place it here and instead of placing another terrain tile you can take one of these animals here, this whale here, place it on the tile itself and on the next one. You build later on waterways out of it and try to connect these waterways. In this terrain you have an additional one, a wild a joker here, so when you draw this one you can make here a junction, so now it's a little bit tricky for me to see that, and starting a new terrain like mountains from here on. So now it's falling down and this is what happened at the end of the game. So what you want to do is building this routes here, this waterways, this rivers out of these tiles and at the end of 20 minutes when you turn it around, when you flip over the timer the second time and it's over, then you have this gigantic domino 
area here. Again, it's a co-op game, so everybody is building this water patterns uh, at the same time together, and then one player pushes all that and all these domino pieces falling down. When you do that, it's for me, it's always a very thrilling moment. It's a really cool moment uh, to see if what you build uh, falling down or not. However, it could happen that you missed some uh, of these pieces and there are some of them still standing, like this one here. This doesn't hit them, they are still standing. No worries, you have this uh, do it again tokens for each single time you push another uh, you discard simply one of them and these are worth one victory point so if you manage it with one tip for everybody falling down you have an additional 10 extra victory points at the end of the game for each pass you clear and you have one of these photo tokens on it and the terrain the terrain shows like this here river and if you cover this exit and this uh, exit was all of the same terrain without any uh, interruption from a different terrain you get an additional point for each of this photo, photo token so you claim this one you claim you didn't claim this one because this is not open you would claim this if it looks like this here you would claim that here and you would claim all of these photo tokens and if there are animals on it and they are landing on the river and not touching onto these discs here you get an additional point so you get points for these animals as well you total up all your points at the end of the game and you win just by score so you have just a ranking of scores there's a rule for additional points but I skip that right now for a second however you can have up to 55 points it says in the rule books like in this area here so you can have up to 55 points uh, and honestly, this is impossible. Impossible. I have never seen a game with more than 35 points. And that was the absolute max. So you could be lucky if you are in 25 plus. This game is brutal hard if you compare to when was 55. However, for me, I have to say, it was always such a big fun so this is what is Aya all about and now let's talk a little bit about my personal thoughts of the game and my personal experiences but again for scoring don't overestimate yourself or don't set yourself under such a pressure and give some glimsy fingers and t everything is falling down then you're simply wasting time so look for 25 points that even better and you get more fun out of the game instead of oh you're looking for 50 points which is honestly it's impossible it is really impossible to get more than if someone is out there and get more than 40 points chapeau that would be from my perspective impossible anyway let's talk about my personal thoughts so first of all this game is unique i have never seen using dominoes in a game in a real board game in a co-op game uh, before so this is a really unique component this is a really unique material a 10 minute timer whoa never seen that before so there is so much uniqueness and yeah sometimes it's a little bit for board game enthusiasts like uh, all of our reviewers out there so that they are always seeking for the new component for the new mechanic never seen before once in a lifetime thing and that makes me really excited about the game on the other hand i re uh -oh. on the other hand i really love i really love the thrilling effect of waiting this t two times 10 minutes this 20 minutes to get this final one final moment and hope for the glorious domino thing in the world i mean whatever whenever i played it i'm watching for the best waterway route i created ever anyway i have to say the rule book the rule book itself it's not 100 percent clear in every single rule it says it is uh, open so it wouldn't give you too much structure like for an example the table is the limit of this board game so you don't have a real map or something like this 
or strings around the table that uh, give you the map. The map is just your imagination. The, the table space is your limit to the game. And the rule book is also at some points a little bit unclear. Is a full water pass only when every single stone laying on top of each other like this uh, is that a complete water pass which would make sense by real nature and water and all the pictures in the booklet looking like this however what happens in the game it usually falls down like this and create little gaps thematically a uh, river cannot cross gaps okay I got that point but if not this would be impossible to get even more than 10 points uh, then you should just bring out two stones, put them in a line and get the 10 extra points. So these extra points, when they have to lay on top of each other, that would be, boom, that would be even more br brutal. However, it's not totally clear, so we created some house rules and that's cool. So this game gives you a lot of free spirit. You can do whatever you want with this game. Uh, let's go to my personal experiences with this game. And that's really interesting. Every time I brought that to a gaming group, and I brought that to a lot of gaming groups, including my uh, kids, so, um, not my personal kids, I'm uh, playing at a, a middle school uh, each single week. So I brought that to my kids, I call them always my kids, so, and um, I was full excitement for the game and totally on fire for it. And the teacher said, uh, okay, let's try it out. So she was, not in the mood for playing the game. I, I felt that in the first second. And some of the kids said, yeah, 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 let's try it out. So we had three kids playing this game um, and the teacher was sitting by and I was playing with the kids so, and two of them were totally enthusiastic and said, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. We were almost fighting over who is allowed to knock it over later in the game. And we were so excited to do it. The other kid, for an example, he was totally out. He was, yeah, okay, hmm, yeah. He was, oh, I have a forest, okay, yeah. Okay, so he was not in the game at all. And that kept me a little bit from being super excited on for, for getting 100% fun out of it. I, get, I have to admit, I get every time a lot of fun out of the game. But every time I played the game, I had also people in it that said, okay, let's do it, let's try it, let's try it. I love the term, let's try it. I mean, that means uh, I don't believe it's good, but if you wanted to play it, okay, come on, stupid boy, do it. Um, I really hate this, let's try it. Go in or don't do it. So do it or not, that's what you should do. And this is what you should do with this game, with Aya. Uh, ex Extremely. If you're not into it, if you're not playing, if you're not p paying attention on it, then you should better leave it in the, on the shelf or never touch that game. However, if you, and you hear it right now, I'm totally enthusiastic about the game. And if you're really on it, if you wanted to play it, that's a great game. And I will show you now what you are waiting, and I'm waiting for two times 10 minutes for 20 minutes in a row for this one single What a brilliant moment. Yes, and now you know exactly what Aya is all about. This was Cyril's Brettspiele. My name is Niels and see you next time for In a Nutshell, Table Talk or even Durchgespielt if you know German or if you can understand at least a little bit of German. See you for the next time. Bye bye and keep playing. Bye guys.